In this video, I will show you how to turn your Dobsonian telescope into a fast telescope for your imaging sessions, whether it's EAA or EAA with astrophotography, spending only around 50 bucks. This will boost the details of the objects you are watching. And doing that, your Dobsonian telescope will be much more powerful. Google this for start. 1, 2, ArcSec, Pixel. This is important for you to know what you are doing and what you want to achieve. Google will deliver you tons of articles. I choose this. This is an article from Attic Cameras website where Georgina Burnett explain what is the rule 1 to arc second per pixel. This is an easy to apply rule, powerful for astrophotography or EAA, however few people talk about that. The rule is your image scale should be between 1 and 2 arc sec per pixel. It has a simple formula which consider the pixel size of the camera, the focal length of your telescope and the number. Then you will have the arc second per pixel. If the result is too low, that means that you are oversampling and having bloated stars. If it's too high, that means that you are undersampling and the stars will be blocky stars. And below she had a table which can be used to compare the results. Here at the top you have the focal length of your telescope you choose and at the left you have the pixel size of your camera you also choose. For instance, the result for my 18-inch Dobsonian F6 with my ZWO-294 will be oversampling. To get better images with my 18-inch Dobsonian F6, I will have to move this value over here. In order to do that, I will have to lower the focal length of my telescope or use the binning. And as I prefer not to use the binning, I will have to use a focal reducer to do that. A focal reducer dedicated to a Newtonian is too expensive. It has quality and also a comma corrector. However, one year ago and not knowing what to expect from the focal reducer, I decided for an inexpensive one. It cost me only 50 bucks at a time. This is the 2 inch version, but the 1 and a quarter inch it's cheaper. You have the links at the description. From then I only used it with the ZWO224 camera which has a small sensor and placing it near the sensor, the effect is softer but you don't have comma at the edges. And this is the problem to use a focal reducer with a Newtonian, which is it introduces hard coma at the edges of the field. And the larger the sensor, the worse the coma. Because of that, having a focal reducer and being aware of the pixel scale or arc second per pixel, which I showed you before, made no sense to me doing EAA, electronically assisted astronomy and astrophotography with a Dobsonian telescope. Until now, thinking a lot in it, I figured a way. If you feel you're getting value from this video, give a thumbs up to spread it and help more people all over the world. First I did the calculations to know the reduction factor. The distance you place the reducer to the camera will affect the result. The closer I can, and it's less aggressive, gives me a reduction factor of 0.728. Applying the arc second per pixel rule, it will give me an f4.4. This is for my 8-inch Dobsonian telescope with my ZWO-294. For the 12-inch will give me different results. Now I also know that I have an arc second per pixel of 1.09. And that new value place all my imaging setup in the ideal resolution for deep sky objects imaging range. The orange values in the table. Now, having the values all right, I still have to get rid of the coma. I could just do what I always did, which is do my EAA session as usual and at the end crop the image. Nonetheless, I can do better than that. And that's where the magic is. 
Starting the EAA session with SharpCap software, I lower the camera resolution to 1920 by 1200. That means I will use the ROI region of interest. My camera now is only using that small rectangle area. Therefore, I can move that rectangle to adjust my tracking errors. If the object I'm imaging goes up, I move the rectangle up. If it goes down, I move it down and so on. So now I can benefit from the faster telescope with the arc second per pixel rule correct and applied. And also I can correct on the fly doing my EAA session, the tracking errors of my equatorial platform. This way, and using a faster Dobsonian telescope, I can use shorter exposure times, having the same detail. So in this EAA session, where I'm imaging M51 Whirlpool Galaxy, with only 8 second exposure, I can have a brighter and sharper image of this galaxy. Of course, this technique only works with small deep sky objects, which are the most part of deep sky objects I image with the Dobsonian telescope, as you can see in my live streams that I do regularly. Join us or click on this video on the screen to know more about EAA, electronically assisted astronomy and astrophotography with a Dobsonian, of course.